In a country and a state where 60% voter turnout is considered a reason to celebrate, Democrats say lawmakers should be doing as much as possible to encourage voting. But the governor's veto of the bill to allow in-person voting up to two weeks before Election Day drew sharp criticism from one of the bill's Senate sponsors. This is a bill that has both civil rights and civil justice implications for all voters. And as we know, a um, election can turn on one or two votes or 100 votes, and every vote should be counted. In his veto statement, Christie said, this bill risks the integrity and orderly administration of our elections by introducing a new voting method and process. The governor said the bill was redundant and increased the potential for fraud. Senator Anthony Bucco, who voted against the bill, said fraud was certainly an issue for him, but at $20 million to start up, so was the cost of implementing the plan. Especially in light of the, um, the problems with the budgets that we've had over the last few years, we are starting to, to see uh, a little clearer picture and getting in more revenues. But in the meantime, we were uh, strapped for, uh, for cash. And I don't think burdening the budget with another 20 million plus uh, to uh, do this early balloting was necessary. Gill says the state's election system showed some vulnerability in the wake of last year's hurricane, warranting a bill to guarantee in-person voting before another Sandy disrupts the process and voters are forced to use what she called an ad hoc, hastily put together, ineffective uh, procedure that uh, the um, governor put into effect. The governor with Sandy opened up uh, polls so that people could get there before because of the Sandy storm, the, a different location. So it wasn't a question of uh, not being able to go vote. People did have the opportunity. We had a high turnout. It was over 60 percent, if I remember correctly, statewide. New Jersey does allow voting by mail starting 45 days before Election Day. But supporters of this bill say that's not the same as voting in person, a process that guarantees anonymity. Gill says she'll continue to fight for the bill, acknowledging that an override is unlikely. For NJ Today, I'm David Cruz.